Hey guys, Rob here. Uh, I was reading something about something called a sweet spot for plugins, and uh, my mind is kind of blown right now. So I figured I'd show you guys what I learned. Um, so what a sweet spot is, it's basically um, a, the level of volume that should be going into your plugins. This is pre-fader. Uh, so this is like if you're putting uh, if you're putting a sound into a saturator, what should the volume of that sound be before it goes into the saturator, and how does that affect the the overall sound after it's saturated? Um, so the sweet spot basically means that at least this is what I was reading. It says it should be around negative twenty dB going into plugins to get the best effect out of your plugins. Uh, to test this, I've set up this Ableton project. And uh, I have a regular sine wave going into multiple saturators. Um, and for each saturator, uh, I have one where the signal is coming in at around negative 10 dB, and another one that's coming in at like around negative 20 dB. And I just wanted to show you the difference. Um, it's a slight difference, but uh, it's, it's noticeable. Uh, uh, this is definitely going to change the way I make my projects. So give you uh, the first one this is uh, this is go this is uh, using decapitator uh, just put a little bit of drive on um, and so this is negative 10 DB and this is negative 20 DB So you can tell there's a noticeable difference. Uh, the only difference between these two are the input volume. I've also, as you can see, pulled down the fader so that the RMS uh, volume of the two are the same. Um, but you can see that there's a drastic difference um, between the two. Uh, it looks like the transient or the, the higher peak volume um, is much higher on the volume. Uh, on the channel where the volume going into the decapitator is lower. So decapitator is creating more harmonics if you have a lower input volume, which is very interesting. Um, again, but the RMSs are the same because I've pulled down the fader here. Uh, the second test we'll do is uh, just the Fab Filter Saturn uh, in the saturate and color, just basically just giving some saturation. This one didn't have as much uh, of a difference. Um, Slightly, slightly noticeable, maybe, um, not as much as the decapitator. So this is this is coming in at negative ten dB. And actually, looking at this again, it looks like uh, this RMS is actually higher than this one. Slightly. Sorry about that. Okay, let's do that again. So this is coming in at negative 10 dB. So not that much difference. Um, again, the decapitator is much more. Uh, and the last test, uh, just using the built-in Ableton saturator. Um, so this again, negative. Uh, 10 dB input volume into the saturator. So I don't know about you guys, but out of at least this is hard to tell for me, um, but between this Ableton built in saturator and the decapitator, the, um, the channel which has a smaller input. At around negative 20 dB sounds much better than the one that's coming in at negative 10 dB. Um, it just sounds more sonically like the harmonics are much better. Um, so what does this actually mean? Um, at least for me going forward I will probably be making sure that when I'm using Decapitator or something that's changing I don't know, I gotta test it with the different plugins, but 
generally speaking, keeping volumes low on the processing chain, sometimes even maybe adding uh, trim or utility plugins to lower the volume until so before it goes into the next plugin. Uh, I still have to test this out, but, but yeah, uh, sweet spot. Very interesting. I'm going to test it out some more, but hope you guys enjoy this video.